All right, Shalom, 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 Shalom. Before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash, to honor to my elders and apostles, a great millstone, which are the men that rule well, the men that taught us his truth, peace, blessings, and salutations, as always be to the elect. Lord, one of the title will be Nothing Else Matters, so hold on to the crown. All right, uh, and the inspiration um, for the lesson, man. I was actually listening to the Elder Apostle Tahar's video on the MOT to the B. And, um, you know, he was saying how important that prophecy is. And it kind of hit me that, yeah, you know, it's very true how important that prophecy is. Because the hour of temptation, man, that's the determining factor whether you're, um, you know, man of the Lord or not. You know, if you, you know, if you pass that, that temptation, if you pass that test, you know, you're, you're set for deliverance. You know, so keep the mindset that nothing else matters. So hold on to the crown, which so hold on to the crown comes from Revelation 3 and 10. All right. Or from Revelation uh, 3 and 11, which I only have four precepts. Um, You know, I didn't want to make this long. Just a quick exhortation to keep pushing because, you know, here in America and, and wherever you're at in captivity, man, and Esau's kingdom in general, under his rulership, man, you get caught up in, in, in bread and circuses and you get caught up in that new promotion, that new job. You get caught up in, you know, your your woman. You get caught up in a bunch of different stuff. But in reality, what we have to remember is that nothing else matters, man. Um, what matters is, you know, uh, uh, believing in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and hoping that we overcome that hour of temptation. So First Timothy 6 and 11, but thou... Oh, man of the Most High. Now, when you read this, man, you got to apply this to yourself. Don't just read it as just some letter that somebody know. you got to read it. you got to apply it to yourself. Now, this more specifically is talking about, because it says, Oh, thou, but thou, O man of, of God, or man of the Most High, flee, flee these things. Because up above, it speaks about how money is the root of all evil and things like that, right? Well, it says, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience meekness right because at the end of the day and it's funny man i was um listening to a song on the way home from work uh you know it's a it's an old rock song you know i like to listen to rock every now and then um and it's about um you know being a simple man and it's a very spiritual song funny enough um and uh it reminded me of this man because you know, if you if you aim to live a simple life, man, you know, you're better off uh, uh, than to be a man that's consistently chasing riches and, you know, looking for the next big thing and things like that. You know, I ain't saying get your money up, but I'm also saying don't sell yourself to, to the world, man. OK, that's the wrong thing to do. All right. So it says, um, yeah, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Uh, yep. Yeah. Those are the things that we should be coveting. These are the things that we should be after, all right? Because um, up above, it speaks about the, the riches, you know, uh, uh, for the love of money is the root of all evil. Our love, shouldn't, our affection shouldn't be set upon that. The scriptures speak about such affections on things above, right? The scriptures speak about uh, um, uh, what's really, you know, the right things to covet after, you see? So it says, fight the good fight of faith. Yeah, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. All right, whereunto thou art also called and has has professed a good profession before many witnesses. Right. And um, you know, our our lust, man, is 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 the kingdom of heaven. Our lust is is the scriptures, our lust is uh following Yahweh Bashim Shai and doing what he told us to do. You see? So um yeah, man, fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life. That's the same thing as uh um, you know, no man let no man take thy crown. You see? So nonetheless, um, I must get, I'm going to go down to uh, Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world. Right? Because the hour of temptation, man, the scriptures say, um, the scriptures say, uh, uh, um, let me read it. Revelation 13. 16 says, and he causeth all, both small, I can't think of that word, causeth. I was thinking poeo, you know, which is the Greek word for it. It says, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, 
free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right. And this is spirit that I brought this out because, um, you know, this is that temptation. This is what that's talking about. Right. Overcoming this. Overcoming that he causeth all. Because when you go into that word causeth, it ain't just cause. It actually means to let me get it. Man, why not for edification's sake, man? Revelation 13 and 16. Poeo. I know it's the word poeo. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Yep. And it means to make. Right? And then just he just cause he's gonna make people do it. You know? To produce, construct, form, fashion, right? They added a whole lot of definitions now. It used to just, you know, be more simpler, but it basically means he makes he he causeth, you know, he he He's making people to do this, you know, he calls it all both small, great, rich, poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Then no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark or the number of the beast or the number of his name. Right. You know, he calls it all, man. That's what we want to overcome. You know, but what, like it says here, though, Revelation 3 and 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. That's that hour of temptation. That's that time frame man that the, the heavenly father all right is going to test the world man you know who is on his side who worships esau and who worships jihabash obviously within the elect the elect is the only ones that's going to actually overcome but yeah man you know like uh um because it's going to be a hell of a time frame bro you know it ain't, ain't going to be something easy man it's going to be a very hard time man. you're going to be faced with life or death it says, I also will keep thee from that temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them which dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Right. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. He's going to deliver us quickly. Lord's will be the elect. And hold thou fast which thou hast. Your faith. What do we read up here? Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to be holding. That's what that crown is. That eternal life. You're going to get a physical crown too. But what? The eternal life, that's the ultimate crown, man. All right? So it says, um, hold that fast which thou hast. Yeah, this faith, this word. The words of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Don't let no man take that crown. Don't let yourself, don't let your father, your your mother, your sister, your brother, your wife, your kids. No, nah, man. You know, let no man take thy crown. All right? Lay hold on eternal life. All right? Because that hour of temptation, man, that's the real inspiration for the whole thing, man. It's it's a time frame that's really coming. It's going to be a reality very soon, man. Okay? So, you know, I hope this was exhorting and edifying. I hope I wasn't too, you know, um, too long-winded about it, man. I pray this was exhorting and edifying. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, and Kakadash. Double honors to my elders and apostles of great millstone, which are the men that rule well and that taught us his truth. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. As always, Shalom.